the little bumps. You don't like this banana? Okay. Give me that alligator. <laughs> Things look cool.
Click them. Click your heels. massage parlor like in the in the mall and when they're taking like here's where they're like like the sounds of them rubbing like human contact. They just break. <laughs> they just break.
next. Oh yeah, let's see. Good job, Star. I don't like that either. <laughs> I shouldn't have that. Um, oh, that something really comforting whether it be a voice of a person or the sound mm. of cooking or something like that i have a baby blanket that i've had since birth since i came out of the hospital i could take it i can't sleep without it i like to scratch on it a lot and it, it removes my anxiety and it gives me hangnails but it's worth it because it's worth it it's my security blanket his name is babar from the elephant cartoon I from the that. early 2000s. Nobody ever remembers that show. Mm -hmm. I named him that when I was really young. Okay. It used to be a really big blanket, but then it got cut into four pieces, and now it's only about this big. And I still, pieces. I still take it with me everywhere. Sometimes it fits in my purse, and I take it with me just in case if I feel like I'm ever gonna get anxiety. And it's so ripped up and old that I have pieces of it in my wallet, mm -hmm. stringed up knots of it in my wallet.
I don't have any rules. You know, like if some people don't really feel it, but something that maybe brings like a, a tingle to the back of your neck is kind of like comforting. When I hear really a good singer and someone has a really good voice, mm -hmm. I'm like, wow. Like angelic, like I can feel it in the back of my. I guess it's like hairs on the back of your neck stand up. Yeah. I guess it's um, well, because I played the flute, so like, whenever I hear really good flute pieces, like it just reminds me of when I used to play the flute. It's like, damn, like I used to do yeah. those notes, like I used yeah. to be capable of that, and no one else has like that talent. Yeah. So it's like, damn. They don't understand like the work that goes into it. You're like, wow, like, I appreciate that. Your stomach and not the throat. And your diaphragm. There's mm -hmm. a lot of breath work that goes into it. So they say, like, if you can hold a note, you can most likely sing. So that's why mm -hmm. when I stopped playing my flute, I would just try and sing. Because <laughs> it be, like, the same breath Hollywood, work. Hollywood breathing. Hollywood breathing, whatever it's called. That's what she learned. Yeah, she would sing that. Oh. Okay. Maybe like clean the camera with it. Can you beat up the camera? <laughs> <laughs> 